Hey everyone, welcome to The Album Method and day 22 of our 30-day movement challenge. So today's class is all about balance. I love working on balancing postures because they really invite us to stay super present and super aware of what's going on during our practice. It's kind of hard to focus on other things when you're balancing on one leg. So today I'm gonna to be taking you through a series where we're just gonna be testing out our balance. Again, don't take it too seriously, but keep your practice safe. You're just gonna need your body and your mat. When you're ready, I'll meet you there. Okay, we're gonna start standing at the top of our mat. So go ahead and come to the top of your space and I want you to bring your feet underneath your hips and go ahead and lift all 10 toes and see if you can spread out each toe individually and then start to place each toe on the mat as you grip the mat with your feet. Start to imagine that tripod in the foot, the big toe mound, the pinky edge in the center of each heel and just really stand strong in this posture. Roll the shoulders up towards the ears and then let the shoulder blades slide down the back. As we pull the belly in and up, we find this nice active stance. Good, as you inhale, just reach those arms up, bring your palms to touch. And as you exhale, just bring the arms down. Good, inhale, lift the arms, look up, stretch up. And exhale, bringing those arms down. One more time, inhale, reach those arms up. And exhale, bring those arms down. Good, again, inhale. This time I want you to start to lift the heels as you take your arms out to your side, take your time, pressing through the balls of the feet, bring your palms to touch. And then exhale, controlling that release, pressing the heels down. Good, inhale, do that again. Start to lift the heels, squeeze your glutes, pressing through the balls of the feet and each toe, pull the belly in. And exhale, bringing the arms down, slowly lower the heels. Good, two more times. Inhale, lift the heels, balancing on the tiptoes. And exhale, releasing those heels. Beautiful, one more time, inhale. And just pause here, good. Seeing if you can work your balance, work that wobble, pull the belly in, and then slowly release the heels. Good, inhale, reach those arms up once again, Tadasana. And exhale, just bring your hands to heart. Good, from here, shifting into that right foot, pull your left knee into your chest. So find your balance. Good, and if you start to lose your balance quite a bit, try setting your eyes on something still. And holding your breath doesn't help. So continue to breathe. Take a few ankle circles with that left foot. Good. And then start to point the toe, pull the heel in towards the glute a little and shift the hips back ever so slightly, keeping your right hand on that left knee, start to reach your left arm back. Finding a gentle twist through the ribs, using that hand on the knee for stabilization and then come back to center, pull the knee in and release, switch sides, pull that right knee and get your balance. One side's always gonna be trickier than the other, like I say. Start to pull that right heel in towards the glute, standing tall, start to release that right hand back behind you, find a twist. Good, keeping your eyes on something still, just breathe. And then gently coming back to your center, pulling that knee in and release. Inhale, reach those arms up. Good, this time we'll fold over the legs, finding a forward fold, just pause. You can bend the knees if the hamstrings are still tight. Just being patient, allowing the body to wake up slowly. Gently shake your head no and nod it yes. Get rid of some tension in the neck. And then plant your palms and step back to a plank position. Just pause here. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, the hips in line with the feet. And then just shift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good, you can take some organic movement here if that feels good. Just waking up the body slowly, good. Inhale, shift forward to a plank position once again. And then just shift back. Good, two more, shifting forward, shoulders over wrist, and shifting back. Good, one more time. Beautiful, as you shift back, walk your feet in just a couple of inches. Good, in your downward facing dog, just take a moment here. Beautiful, from here, reach your right leg up to the sky and start to bend the knee, stepping your foot through to a lunge. So you're gonna keep this knee bent. Hands are gonna stay on the mat and we're gonna just shift forward and pick up that left foot. Good, release the left foot. So that knee's gonna go over the ankle just a tiny bit, but keep your knee safe. And then we'll do that again, shifting into that lunge, pick up that left foot and come back to a lunge. 
Good, this time shift into that right foot, start to reach your arms behind you as you straighten your right leg coming into airplane pose. Pause. Pulling that left knee into your chest. Pause. Good, take that twist just like we did in the beginning of class. Adding on, coming back to center, grabbing onto that knee, hold. Start to bend that right knee once again, now coming into this figure four shape, taking ankle to knee and bringing your hands to heart. Notice how my elbows are starting to pull forward as my hips pull straight back behind me. Keep that left foot nice and flexed. Beautiful. Pulling that left knee back into your chest. Send it back for airplane once again. Extending the arms, extending that leg. And then bending that right knee. Get low. Bringing your hands to the ground first. Release that left foot. Pushing the palms away. Reach that right leg up and release down dog so just building pieces to the puzzle taking your time if we fall or wobble we just get back in we're just playing around so reach that left leg up good bend your knee and step through to a lunge pause so keeping this knee bent getting the belly off the thighs and then we're just going to shift so we're going to shift into that left knee and point the right toes behind us and then shift back release the ball of that right foot do that two more times using your fingertips to stabilize and then shift back into that right foot. Last time, pick up those right toes. Now start to send those hands behind you as you power through that left leg coming into that airplane shape. Belly pulls in, keep your eyes on something still. Start to pull that right knee into the chest, pause. From here, keeping that left hand on the knee, start to follow your gaze over the right side. Good, coming back to center, pause. Start to bend that left knee, coming into this figure four shape. Again, hands to heart, elbows pull back as the hips shift back, keeping that left foot nice and stable. And then pulling that knee back into your chest, coming back into that airplane shape. Start to soften through that left knee once again, bringing the hands down, release that right foot to the mat, and then reaching your left leg high, three-legged down dog, pause. And release, downward facing dog, breathe. So good, adding on, reach that right leg up. Bend the knee and step forward to lunge, pause. Good, so we're taking our time with this, nice and controlled, shift into that right foot, point your left toes back, point the arms back and start to rise into that airplane shape, really using that right leg. Continuing on, pulling that left knee in. Take that twist over your left shoulder, keep your eyes on something still. And coming back to center, following that gaze forward, coming into that figure four shape. Good, from here, we'll add on, pulling that left knee in, start to extend back to that airplane pose. And then coming back up, pull the left knee in, now we'll cross it over that right leg, squeezing the thighs together. Stand on both your feet, bringing your hands to your hips, come into a neutral position here, and then folding over those legs. Good, start to rise back up as you do that, pulling that left knee back in. Whole body moves together, extending that leg back. Bring your hands to the mat as you land in that lunge. Sweeping your right leg high, pause. Good, from here, just rise up onto your left fingertips so the right leg is high and see if you can just float those left fingertips above the mat. Pressing through the ball of the left foot in the right hand. Just see where you're at and then release that hand, release your foot. Good, from here, shift forward to plank, taking a vinyasa, coming halfway down or all the way down just to reset, lifting up for upward facing dog and pull back for downward facing dog. Take a breath. And let it go good so just notice where your head's at notice where your breath is at pressing down and forward into those palms reach your left leg up pause good bending the knee step through to your lunge keeping this knee bent just shift staying low in that left leg point your right toes back and then arms reach behind you as you power up through that left leg beautiful pulling that right knee in hold Take that twist, nice and steady. Good, coming back to center, hold. Creating that figure four shape, ankle to knee, hands come to heart, the elbows pull forward as the hips pull back, just breathe. 
Good, adding on, pulling that knee in, coming back into that airplane shape. Pause here. And then we'll pull the knee back in as we cross it over our left foot, squeezing the tops of the thighs together. And then hands can come to the hips as you come all the way down for a forward fold. Let the head be heavy. Good, taking that halfway lift first and then letting that bring you up. Bring your right knee with you and start to create it. Bending that left knee as you extend the right toes back. Bring your hands to the mat. Reach that left leg high first. Now pause. Pressing down and forward into that left hand. Just lighten up through that right hand. See if you can just float it a couple inches above the mat. Balancing on that left foot or the right foot and the left hand. Good. Release that hand. Release your left leg. Just pause. Take a breath. And let it go. Good. Shift forward to plank and finish it out. Coming halfway down and then lifting up and pulling back. Good. Right leg reaches high. Step through to that lunge. Pause. We continue to add on shifting into that left right foot. Now start to power up as you find those airplane arms. Good. Pulling that knee in. Pause. Take that twist over your left shoulder. Good. Coming back to center. Take that figure four shape. Now pause here. So the hips are going to go down. You can stay here or start to reach your hands towards the ground. And what I'm doing is hooking my left toes around my right bicep. So really sinking into that left hip, pulling the belly in. And now from here, start to bring that left heel with you as you come into tree. Standing on that right leg, the heel touches the inner thigh. They squeeze together as hands come to heart. Just find your balance and pause. Notice what's happening. Notice what has to happen to keep yourself stable. And again, if you fall, you get back in. Just come back to your breath, come back to that steady gaze. And then we'll control that release. So pulling that knee in, start to find that airplane shape once again. Good, left foot crosses over right, squeezing the thighs together, come into that forward fold, hold. Good, coming back up, pulling that left knee in, we dismantle, so bending that right knee as you spe step back to lunge, sweeping the right leg high, hold. Now see if you can lift your left fingertips up. Playing with your balance and release, downward facing dog, pause. Shifting forward to plank, taking your vinyasa. Good, just finishing it out. You're also welcome to just stay in downward facing dog, your choice. Take an inhale. And exhale. Good. Reach that left leg up. Good. Step through to your lunge. Pause. Keeping that knee bent. Start to extend those right toes back, the arms back as you power through that left leg, finding airplane. Pulling that knee into the chest, find that twist, reaching back behind you. Good. Coming back to your center. Take it into that figure four shape. So from here, you have that option. The hips are going to stay sinking back. You can start to reach your fingertips towards the ground, hooking those right toes around your left bicep. Good. And then you'll take that foot with you as you come up, finding your tree pose. Remember, one side's always going to be trickier. Bringing hands to heart, set your gaze. Be strong in your legs. Just take a breath and let it settle in. Beautiful, we'll control that release so that right foot comes off as you come back into that airplane pose. Good, and now pulling that knee in, crossing it over that left leg, squeeze the thighs together as you drop back into that forward fold, standing equally on both feet. Good, coming back up, pulling that knee in. Everything controls, left knee bends as you touch the mat releasing that right foot, and then coming into that three-legged dog, left leg high, and then play around, pressing down and forward into your left hand. See if you can lift your right fingertips just a little, maybe even one inch, maybe just for a half a second. Good, just experimenting, and then release those feet. Shift forward to plank, take your vinyasa. Good, we meet in downward facing dog. And just pause here, take a breath in, and let it go. 
Good. From here, step your feet to your hands, coming back into your forward fold, and just pause. Shake out your head no, and nod it yes. Good, so shifting into that right foot, back into that right foot, I'm using my fingertips for stability. I'm gonna take those left toes behind me. So both hips have to open here, so I'm gonna roll that right hip underneath me as I start to extend out into half moon, reaching that left arm up and the left leg pointed back. Good, from here, if you're good, feel nice and balanced, start to float that bottom hand, pulling the right thumb towards your chest. And this is not easy, so if you fall or you wobble, it's okay. And if that right hand stays on the ground, that's okay too. Start to come back through a standing split, releasing your left foot to meet your right, and we'll switch. So shifting into that left foot, point your right toes back, set it up. I take my left hand out to stabilize first, reach my right arm up. So really rooted through that left foot, pulling the belly in, staying strong, keeping my eyes on something still, I start to float that bottom hand. Maybe it floats, maybe it doesn't. We're just experimenting, just playing around and not taking it too seriously. You don't become automatically a better person just because you can balance on one leg. Good, go ahead and release that. Release your right foot to meet your left. Take a halfway lift and let that bring you back up to a standing position. Pause here. Good. Just bring hands to heart, close your eyes, let everything settle. Good, open the eyes, inhale, reach those arms up. And exhale, bowing over the legs. Good, from here, take a halfway lift and step back to your plank. So I want you to take your feet wide taking a nice wide plank, and then from here, we're gonna find another piece of balance. So picking up your right heel, just pause. Pick up that right heel, notice what happens. See if you can touch your left hand to your chest. Good, feel that core turn on, release, and switch. Pick up your left heel first. Root down through that left hand, see if you can touch your chest with that right hand. Good, release that, try it again. One more each side, picking up that right heel, floating those left fingertips, maybe you touch your chest. And then release, switching sides, pick up that left heel. Touch your right hand to your chest. Release that, coming into a nice wide downward dog. So a little bit of a shorter down dog. Make sure your feet are about as wide as your mat. Good, now from here, start to press down and forward into that right hand. So really freeing up that left hand. I'm gonna slide it through, reaching for my ankle, my thigh, or my calf, and I'm going to pull my gaze through my right shoulder. Continuing to press down and forward into that right hand, using my left hand on my leg for leverage, and then coming back through center, place that left hand in front and switch. Slide that right hand to the calf, to the thigh, or to the ankle, and start to pull that chest through. Just breathe. Beautiful, coming back to center. Just extend into that nice wide down dog. Good, taking a breath here and letting it go. Good, bring the feet back underneath you and we'll flow together one more time. Start to reach that right leg up. Good, step through to your lunge, keeping that knee bent. Start to lift those left toes, coming into that low flying airplane and then power up. Good, pulling that left knee in. Start to connect the movement, taking that twist over your left shoulder. Good, coming back to center, coming into that figure four, ankle to knee, hands to heart. If you feel okay here, you can try again to reach for the ground as the hips sink back. It's easier if you bend that right knee a lot. Good, coming into that tree pose, bringing the heel to the inner thigh or below the knee, wherever you are, bring your hands to heart and just balance. Good, putting, taking that foot off the leg, start to extend back into that airplane pose, adding on. Start to reach your right fingertips to the ground as you extend your left arm up, coming into that half moon shape. Maybe you float those hands again. Maybe you just mess around and experiment or just stay here. Beautiful, that left hand is gonna touch the ground. And then from here, coming back into airplane, reach your arms back. That one's a tough one, keep your belly strong. 
pulling that left knee and cross it over the right. Now both feet are on the ground. Squeeze the thighs as you drop back into that forward fold. Putting it all together. Good, coming on up, bringing that left knee with you. Now start to bend that right knee as you extend back, releasing that left foot, release the hand, sweep the right leg up, three-legged dog. And release, downward facing dog, taking that vinyasa nice and slow. Again, we meet in downward facing dog. Reset and pause. So good. Last time, left leg reaches up. And step through to your lunge, pause, keeping that knee bent. Float those right toes, reach back and power up through that left leg, airplane. Pulling that right knee in, holding on to that knee, reach back with the right. Good, coming back to center taking it into that figure four shape. Hands to heart. And now you can start to reach for the ground, hooking those toes, just pause. Good, from here, start to come into that tree pose, taking the heel to the inner thigh, pressing foot and thigh into one another, hands come to heart. Good, taking that foot off the thigh, coming into airplane, reach those arms back. And now keeping your eyes on something still, start to rotate into half moon, release that left hand, pointing the right toes back. Pause. Good, releasing everything, releasing that right hand, dialing that right hip down, coming back through to airplane, and then pulling that knee in, crossing it over the left. Standing on both feet, fold over the legs. So good. Good, finding that neutral spine as you come back up. Pull that right knee in. And now soften through that left knee as you land on the mat, reaching that left leg up. Good, release to your downward facing dog and just pause. And then take your final vinyasa. Coming halfway down and lifting up. And pulling back and just stretch. Let everything settle. Let everything breathe. Good, from here, go ahead and drop down to the knees. Coming into a tabletop position. And just pause here, take a round of cat and cow. Just noticing the difference in the belly and in the rest of the body. Good, finding a nice neutral spine. Reach your right arm up to the sky. And from here, just thread the needle, taking that right arm through, take your left arm forward, just pause. So you can stay here with that right shoulder glued, or you can start to mess around by extending your left toes back. Balancing on that right arm, that right knee, the left fingertips are there for stability. Good, and then pause as you come back, nice and slow. Pausing in this thread the needle and then bringing that left hand underneath you to release, reaching that right arm up, coming back to your center and hold. Good, switching sides, reach that left arm up, look up at your hand and then sweep it through. Good, so pressing through that left arm, reach your right fingertips and then if you feel okay here, you can start to slide those right toes back and maybe lift the right leg for balance. Pulling the belly in. And you still need to keep your eyes on something still here. Just mess around with it, have some fun. And then as you're ready, coming back to center, release that, bring that right hand back underneath you, reaching up with that left hand and coming back to your tabletop position. So good. Go ahead and cross the ankles and come onto your butt. Scooting towards the top of your space, just slowly bring it onto your back. And just pause, notice the difference. Like I said, it's hard to think about anything else when you're trying to balance. So just notice this radical presence in your body, in your mind, in your breath. Release your left foot to the mat and pull your right knee in. Good, just take a quick hamstring stretch here, extending that heel. And then pulling that knee in, extend your left leg and just twist over to your left as you cactus your right arm. Good, coming back to your center and switching out your legs. Release that right foot as you pull your left knee in. Extending that heel to the sky, just stretch out that leg and pause. 
Again, just letting everything absorb here. And then taking that right leg long, pull the left knee in and rotate over to your right as you cactus this left arm. Beautiful work. Good. Coming back to your center, pulling both knees into your chest, wrapping your arms around your shins, pull forehead to knees. And then find just a quick moment of stillness in your final Shavasana, extending the arms and extending the legs. And I invite you to just stay here for another moment. Try not to let the mind wander just yet. And remember these things take time. These postures take time before they seem more effortless. So I invite you to just be proud of what you did today. Take this energy with you off of your mat. Knowing that we don't have to take it too seriously. Good. Pulling your knees back into your chest, wrapping your arms around your shins and just pulling into a tiny ball once again and using that to rock yourself up to a seat or always spinning to one side is an option as well. Coming back to your comfortable seat on your knees or with the legs crossed, just bring your hands together in front of your heart as always, sealing in our practice, sealing in our time together. Bow your chin to your chest, honoring yourself always first and foremost for showing up. You get to take this energy with you into the rest of your day, your week, wherever you are. This is yours to keep. And then bring your thumbs to your forehead. Just lift the gaze, finding gratitude for whatever it is we are grateful for today and bowing in that gratitude to this practice and to all things. Namaste. Great job today, you guys. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Ciao.